a sixth competitive clash between the two sides, but the first ever in the top flight of the French Championship as Monaco travelled to take on Clermont at the Gabriel Montpied on Sunday evening. It's a sign of how the Principality had previously slipped at the start of the previous decade, and now how high Les Lanciers have finally climbed. Contrasting campaigns as Monaco are picking up after a slow start. They've gone unbeaten in two for the first time in the week, while Clermont's fast start in danger of being forgotten after suffering a damaging 6-0 thrashing at Rennes in midweek. And yet, Pastel Gastien's side were ahead in seven minutes. What a way to make amends in front of your adoring fans. Vital and Simba pointing the way and then swinging in an absolute beauty. Mohamed Bayo opening up his body and opening up the scoring. His fourth of the season, the Guinea International. Niko Kovac understandably frustrated without a clean sheet this campaign. Yet despite being second best, they have the third best goal scorer from last term in their ranks. Wissam Banyeder, red hot. Well, he hadn't scored before last week. That's now four goals in seven days and a second successive from open play. Kao Henrik with a quick ball into his feet. Lovely turn away from Florent Ogier around Arthur Desmas. And a simple finish. Well, Monaco won both meetings between the sides in the 2012-13 Ligue du Becquete campaign by an aggregate of 5-0, but finding this incarnation of Les Lanciers a much bigger challenge. Clermont unbeaten at home in Ligue 1, but also 18 across Ligue 1 Uber Eats and Ligue du Becquete. But Monaco went about snapping that. Well, he'd been quiet as a mouse. But the anonymous Kevin Folland coming alive in the box. The Zac Efron look-alike certainly bringing a bit of high school musical to the proceedings. Lovely ball again from the Brazilian. A second assist for Henrique. Kevin Folland, the second part of Yederland, striking just three minutes after the restart. His second match in succession, finding the back of the net. And then Clermont had their chances. But in stoppage time, Sofian Diop, along with fellow sub Myron Bawadu, combining a lovely finish with the flick of the boot. Arthur Desmas, though, should have done better. Nine goals conceded in just four days for the Clermont number one. But Diop, that little bit of impish skill right in front of the travelling Monaco faithful. Well, Clermont's unbeaten home record left in tatters as Monaco making it seven points from nine in a successful week that sees them with successive wins in the top flight for the first time this campaign. Clean sheet still elusive, but Yederland firing them back up into mid-table.